very comfortable with the future. I think the next 10 years will be the best years O'Fallon's ever seen. And uh, I've kind of completed all the things I wanted to do. It's been um, interesting because every time the election comes up, I've had another project I thought I should hang around for. One election, and we had someone running against me who was going to fire all the staff, so I thought I ought to stay and protect the staff. The next time with the hospital, we're in the middle of St. Elizabeth and Memorial, and I wanted to make sure they got done. And, uh, of course, this time I wanted to complete the sports park. So I think we've done that with our destination, O'Fallon, coming up. And uh, I also wanted to announce early enough uh, that if someone would like to run for mayor, when I came out, no one came and recruited me. And I'd like people to know that uh, it's important you have a great mayor and... Uh, Certainly, um, I will say, as the president said, elections have consequences, and it's not an easy job. I mean, our budget is uh, $98 million a year. It's a big business. We have 158 employees. We've had 20 years of no corruption, uh, no thefts, uh, and uh, no major problem. And it's very hard to do that, and we work very hard to have integrity because today, People are tired of government. They think they have elitist government and we don't hear them. You look at Washington, D.C., you look at the state, they're both a mess. So here you can find the mayor and you can actually talk to the mayor and you can fire the mayor. So I didn't want to ever be fired for one thing, but I wanted to go out uh, now and let somebody have a chance in case they want to come in and lead the city.